Welcome to No Man's Sky Survival Mode and here we are wrapping this space station. This is a new system because what I've been doing is a little bit of system hopping because what I want to do in this part is complete this final milestone. But I don't really want to do it back on my fungal farm. I'd like to do it on a completely new base. But before that I want to do something else as well. Um, because I, I fancy a change. I think I've been running around with my current avatar for a little while with the hood on and I think I want to go back to yeah, change races, yes. And what do we want? Race. And uh, see what we go. Uh, yeah, you're a bit ugly. You're a bit feline. I actually quite like that actually. I'm just going to go with that. I mean, I think sometimes it's just a bit fun to have a bit of a change from time to time. There's not that much variation. Actually, that's one a bit thinner. It squats. I quite like that. Head. Ah. Um, go with the suit. A bit blue. Maybe we'll go. Now I think we'll stay with the red for the torso. And armor look. And I actually quite like that. The marking. Can't see anything there. Legs. Yeah, I like the extension of the suit down. Boots. Yeah, I think they're a bit more stylish. And backpack, what are we going to have here? Is that actually changing? Doesn't seem to be, seem to be changing very much at the moment. I think we're going to go with that, guys. Uh, save changes, yes. So, we've got a new look. There's not much point checking out anything over here. I think it's just fun to have a different look from time to time. Um, there's actually. Um, we might as well go and check the missions while we're here. Actually, what's, the, what's the point of having a new look if we can't see ourselves? I mean, I, I won't do it for long, but what we could be okay for running around the space station. And see if this guy's got any missions for us. Uh, well, we're certainly going to kill a quad. Um, kill ten creatures, yep. Because we we need to work on that. Do, 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 do. Collect fifty marrow bulb. I mean, that will improve my standing with the Corvax. Um, kill five sentinels. Yeah, but well that's gonna improve our standing with the callbacks as well. I can't remember. Yeah, let's go for that. If I'm, I mean, we're bound to go down on a planet. And collect it. Can't remember. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, got to change back to. Oops. Sorry, guys. I think I'm gonna have to change back to first person. That's disorientating me a little bit. It's better. It just doesn't seem right to be in third person. Maybe when we get down on the planet, and what, else, what I want to do is four facts. Yeah, we've got to improve our standing a little bit, so doing a few more missions for the Corvax won't do any harm. And what we're going to do is just. And what we're going to do is just spot check these planets now, looking for an extreme planet. Actually, just save. Here we are, we're out in space. We've got a corrosive planet. I've already checked a couple of these planets already just to see if this system had potential. That's an acidic planet. We might as well start with the corrosive planet first. There's, I mean, that's probably got more chance of being a, an extreme planet than anything else. I'm just going to drop down on here. 
have to admit guys that I'm starting to get a little bit impatient for Beyond. I was checking out a couple of videos in the forum yesterday and uh, Sean Murray's posted a very enigmatic tweet that seems to hint at that maybe there are some patch notes coming out and that would be really great especially if it refers to stage 3 we can just drop in here and see what an extreme planet please and we've got caustic winds but nah this is just the normal corrosive planet Have some ammunition, not that I really need it, but never mind. But oh, seeing we're here, we might as well check the place out. And we can always grab a little bit of marrow bulb or something like that. Talk to this guy, if he offers me a mission. I don't understand what he's saying. Nope. Uh, sorry, I don't want any missions from you. We don't want a dinky little weapon like that. A couple of fusion accelerants. I'm not sure where they came from. Let's see what the prices are for. Minus 14%. You've got to be kidding me. Um, I do need something, but I can't actually remember what I need. Probably get some of those. I mean, they're expensive, but. Right, let's just have a bit of a look, look seat round. See what we can grab. Uh, grab that. And there's to be some caves or something around here. We can grab some marrow bulb in. So. Yeah, thank you, game. Right. My mining beam's a bit low. Uh, multi tool. Uh, we've got plenty of phosphorus. So. Um. Grab a bit more. Must have fifty by now. Give your arrow bolt to a secure. And we've got to get out of here somehow. Right, where's the secure depot? Just deliver the goods one hour. Okay, we'll, we'll go and do that. Might as well get that mission done. Get a nice little quick win in. And if it improves my standing with the uh, callbacks, I'll be quite happy. How far away is that? Put it fly up over the hill. Yeah, it's only a couple of minutes away. We'll be okay. Yeah, what I will do, guys, is. If, if I don't get an extreme planet, then I will have to resort to going back to my fungal uh, planet because I definitely want to finish that milestone in this part so I can move on to other things. Anyway, I'm just going to fly towards the deliver the goods. I'll see you once I arrive there. Okay, guys, here we are. Just going to down on the trading station here. jump out. Yeah, there's nothing up here. Oops. And we'll just go and trade in that mission. Some stuff up on the other platform. And we'll deliver the marrow bowl. Delivery processing success. Deliver goods to secure depot. Yep, thank you. And 
an item to see what the whether the price has improved for the 9.8 still fill it with sell off the extra marabou don't really need it nothing yeah we got some starship fuel don't really need it turn to mission agent yes thank you yeah, there we are there's some Hopefully there'll be some good stuff in here. Dense carbon, well. I was hoping for some port fuel or something like that, navigation data. <laughs> Never mind. And of course what we will do is have a little chat with these guys. What I'm really interested in is the language. Because again it's it's something I'd like to do before Beyond comes out. Yeah, I'm not going to accept the mission. But at the same time, I doubt very much if I'm going to get everything done. Uh, leave. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking little ship here. And I'm just going to drop a save. There's going to be some hostiles or something out waiting for us when we come back so let's just get back out into space how far am I away from the space station don't really want to fight any space battles so I'll fly around that Okay. here Yeah, we're just going to use the old trick of flying into the space station to cancel that hostile scan. Yeah, you're too late. Scan failed. See my here. Let's get up and cash that mission in. mission uh, it's going to give us another 286,000 and our standing with the Corvax has increased thank you browse missions uh, fender freighter locate missing person actually guys I, I do want to finish this so we are going to go down to the fungal planet I think just get this this uh, milestone done it's starting to irritate me so let's just get into here because I've got an absolute guaranteed response here actually I'm yeah that wow it's going down already okay uh, I wasn't aware that Let me just check something. Oh shit. Yeah, you, you have to pull up. Put that there. Um, I want to jump off that side. I kind of want to do something a bit therapy. I mean, I could just be bore, totally boring and just collect some of this stuff, but I can't see any point. I mean, what I will collect these. That can go straight to the Colossus. Back in there, and it annoys me when it does that. And it's going to go in there. Some dense carbon in here. So I'll just have a quick run past the Colossus. Anything here? Yeah, that can go to the Colossus. And that can go to the Colossus. That can go to the Colossus as well. That can go to the starship, that can go to high capacity, that can go to high capacity. We'll put the fusion accelerant in the Colossus as well. Because we might be able to make something from that. Yeah. So we might make some more portable reactors. And we can make some nitrogen salts. That will 
that means we can make a couple more of these as well. Mm. I think we're going to leave that for the moment just to see what else we can make. I want to make any frigate fuel or any lemonum. We don't need oxygen filters or granite. Nothing here. It's going to really grab me. Advance. Okay. Yeah, Yes, thank you, game. Hello, guys. I know, I know I've already got you. You're, you've been a regular visitor for some time. But guys, time for a leap of faith. Just drop down here. Now, it definitely means I'm going to have to summon my ship now. Because there's no way I can fly back up that way. There. So we are very much out on our own now. Let's have a quick check of the milestone. Um... Milestones. So uh, we've got to be on this planet for 0.6 of a soul. I'm aware that I probably don't want to record the whole time for to get through 1.6 of a soul. So what we'll probably do is I'm just going to wander around, guys, and use that time up. Just do some resources. Maybe we'll get some storms in and grab some storm crystals. But generally, we're just going to do some exploration, wandering around. I'm very much aware that this is very familiar territory and we've upset that guy so we're just going to go this way and maybe we'll just um, do a bit of long distance shooting here my oxygen is dropping so I'm going to have to be a little bit aware of that um, the one next to it I didn't see you hit behind that rock, but you're going to be dead. Got a lot of sodium. I don't really need vast quantities of sodium. I want to keep picking up the carbon and radium simply because I'm going to need to be able to make some uh, condensed carbon. I'm just going to up some of this. In fact, what I could do, let me just check the condensed carbon. Yeah, we've only got 197. There's quite a lot of items around here. And I know this is going to be very inefficient, guys, but I, I think what we can do is come here. I'm going to put that out. And we'll drop in here. Uh, pack that up. And we'll drop that in there. And I think what we're going to do is just have a little bit of a uh, condensed carbon production session here. And get the extreme. Uh, let's keep this nice and topped up. I'm just going to grab some more carbon. There's some... The storm starts there, you can just see. I mean, if any guys have never seen this before, see these rocks here. These are storm crystals, but they're closed up at the moment, so you can't do anything to them until a storm comes. So this could be quite a good place to hang around in. At the moment, if I shoot at long distances, that shouldn't attract the... Set the sentinels. I think we could probably shoot that guy at long distance as well. Um, can we actually shoot? Yeah, we can shoot that at long distance as well. We've gotten how I'd completely forgotten the range of this of the multi tools. No, that's a bit too far. Well, we can get that one there. Well, we can grab 
that. And we can get this, uh, destroy that as well. And oh, that can go in the high capacity. And we got another 250. Just keep a little bit of dihydrogen there. Well, we've got incoming storm coming, so we'll just stand here and wait for the. Well, we'll harvest some more carbon whilst we're waiting for the storm to come in. And we'll grab that as well. On storm break. That's up. If we watch here, what will happen is as, as the storm comes in, these should switch on, and we should be able to walk straight up to them. And there they are, they've just switched on. We've got a nice big bodge of cash, and we might as well cut this one as well. some more another one up over there see if we can go over and get that one not that I need the cash or anything but it's just fun to do things while we're walking in that direction let's pick up some more carbon because we're in the dip we can't see the, there it is um, jump over there Yep, I can hear you, Mr. Sentinel. What we're going to do is draw you that way. We'll shoot something way over there. Ah, he's right next to me. That's annoying. Because, of course, if the Sentinel's right next to you when you're actually shooting, they know you're shooting at something. So they target on you rather than what you're actually shooting at. This is a pain in the neck, but we'll, we'll grab this here as well. And there's a... Where are you? Yeah, we... I, I picked up a mission to kill predators. And quite recently. So that's another good quick win mission. Oops. Just a little bit more carbon up here. And I've completely lost the ah, my refiner. Where are you? Great. Um, and how the heck we're going to find the refiner in this conditions? I've got absolutely no idea. Because we got no map to look up. Great. Um, we got you. There's some condensed carbon there, but I don't really want to pick it up unless I have to. Right, it says there's some storm crystals that way. Right, the storm's clearing, so we might get a bit better visibility. Let me just check the milestone. Yeah, we're up to 331.9. So it's not going to be long before we ask that key milestone. There it is, up over there. I knew I'd find it as soon as the storm had cleared. Toxicity, yes, thank you. Let's just back that up. And just wipe that up. And I'm just going to get back over here. Pick out another tree. And then we'll just, I think we'll just pick the refiner up and wander off, I think. 
Yeah, we've got number 125. Um, and we'll just pick it up. Got a little bit of storm crystals. The ammonia can come down there. The Mordite can go to the. Yeah. It comes the storm again, so maybe we can find some more uh, storm crystals. We're just going to head off in this direction. Just to see what we can find. Dihydrogen over the oh, carbon. We'll take the carbon. And here we are, guys. Everlasting survived 32 souls on an extreme planet. We've done it. And that finally. It's taken a long time. It's taken a very long time to finish it, but just to show you guys. There we are. All tens across the board, all complete. And the reason it's taken so long is the fact I got killed a couple of times. So the milestones are finished. What we got to do is we got to complete some mesh missions for the GEC and visit a few more GEC systems. So maybe we're from now on we'll start doing a new system every video, or maybe two systems a video just to do it. Our standing with the Vikings good, but we got to do more missions and things. So maybe I do need to do these standalone missions. And we got a similar situation with the Corvax, though we've got maximum standing with the Corvax now. Um, Merchant's Guild, we need to do some more missions to get up here. We've got to do another 32 levels to get become exalted with for the Merchant's Guild. Got 11 to become exalted with the Mercenaries Guild, and of course the Explorer's Guild is fin finished. So that's pretty good. And I'm now stood around in a... <laughs> Middle of a storm, but I think we're going to go. This might as well just use this up and see. It says there's some storm crystals in that idea. We're just going to use the storm up before I summon the ship and return. Yeah, we can make a little bit of cash. We can get this up to here. We looks like there's three here, so we're going to snag those. That's four. That's good. Let's sell a little bit more cash on on the run. I think what we're going to do, I can't see any more storm crystals here, so what we're going to do is summon the ship in. Back one. Uh, we're going to summon the ship in. Jump into the ship. And what we're going to do is just top up that survival. Like that, and of course, what we're going to do is going to take off because we've got to get back to the base in order to get out of this system because there's no space station in this system. Where is the base? Oh, there it is. Wow, I was that close to the base, but unless I'd built a ladder, I wouldn't have been able to uh, get back up to here. I know. I've seen actually seen a base where someone built a a ladder up a very long distance. I mean, I mean, I, I don't know how they actually did it, but it sounds quite interesting. I'm just grab that storm crystal, a little bit more cash, and I'm just going to. Right, I've got loads of carbon. Hello, guys. You're nice and friendly. What we're going to do is just use the medium refiner because we can only put 250 in and I'm just going to punch out that. And I think this would be a good time to put out a manual save. I mean I could gather a little bit of fungal mould. I'm not going to pick up all of it. It's 
to pick up a little bit just to keep my advanced manufacturing going and let me grab that and that I mean I'm just doing this to fill in the time whilst that uh, refiner's doing its stuff and let's grab that and get to about 1200 would be really good sometimes you just can't always pick this stuff up be another, another one and that should be it and what we should be able to do now is that we should be able to make four at oh two acid okay that can go to the colossus i don't think we can make anything with it just yet what's some enriched carbon um okay we can go you got the one in rich carbon here. Liquid use explosives. I don't really want to do that. We sh could. Okay, let's just. Right, we got. Um, yeah, we'll make one of those. It takes me in the right direction. Um, yeah, we would need unstable gel for that. But okay, yep. That's full. Really need to tidy these storage vaults up. And oh, did I use up all the? Okay, because it was an even number, wasn't it? Okay, let's just send back to the vault there. And just going to. Get into here, pick up the it's carbon. And what was the system that I went to? Shigar five. I'm just going to jump into Shigar here and just flip here. The where's Shigar five? There it is. Jogar 5 station major. And we'll just hand in the missions. Hand in mission. I'm, oh, oh, I must have had two missions for. We got fusion accelerant. That's, that's pretty going to be pretty useful. And we got another one as well. Well, standing with the mercenaries guild has increased. Thank you. Uh, browse missions, if, if there's anything here. No. Mm. Well, you don't want to sell that. We should put the radium into the Colossus. Just doing it good high capacity. Just sell off the storm crystals. There's a little bit more cash. Storm crystals. I mean, as far as I know, they're not good things. That's another 1.7 million. Mm, I think just to wind this video up, what we're going to do is the missions that I actually kicked off in the last part should be ready so we can go there. Get a bit of dialogue from these guys as well. I'm going to have to check how much copper I've got left, actually. Because I've, I haven't mined any copper for a long time, but... We'll just keep pushing this the language we got the Corvax word for travels. I mean this is what you should really be doing from day one when you start the game. Is every time you go to a space station, every time you meet one of these these bods wandering around, is just talk to them and see if you can get the language. No, fine. Let's just have a quick look. What's the copper situation like? Hmm. Kind of 327. Which is roughly enough for 37 more chats of Corvax. And it's going to bounce. Jump into the ship. Uh, 
um, get a little bit away from the space station and you know, some of my capital wrestling. And here we go. And we got the two missions here. Oops. Aha. What we got here. Debrief commander. This is the longer of the two missions, so we'll see what we got. We got 390,000, 375 magnetized ferrite, chromic metal, got loads of more chromic metal than I want to do, we're making quite a lot of cash. Uh, got some indium again, we seem to get lots of indium from these missions. I don't know if that is the, yeah, got some vortex cubes, we'll have to sell those off. Uh, erythrocytes, uh, geodesites, but we'll make it. I mean, obviously the longer range missions, you, you get more from them. All hostiles destroyed, chromic metal again, superoxide crystals, dune formation on capital vessel, yes. So we made nearly 3 million from that. And what we got here? That can go, that can go, that can go, that can go. I'll we'll keep the Ridra site. Geodesite can go, put that in the high capacity for the moment and we'll put a little bit of this in the high capacity as well. Oh my god. Very tempted to sell some of this chromic metal off. I mean I could turn it back into, actually that could be a way forward actually isn't it? I put that in the exosuit and find Okay, we've got some dihydrogen that can go there. That's fine. Right, we got 250. Okay, it won't turn it back. Oh, that's a bit of a. I thought you could turn chromic metal back into copper. Oh well, you live and learn, guys. You live and learn. And actually, this is sell off. Yeah, then again, I've never done it before. It was always an assumption. I'm sure, sure you guys will correct me in that error. Hmm. Then there's so many different formulas in this game now that trying to keep track of all of them is, is a little bit difficult. I, know, I think we're going to sell... I'm going to sell about over, over 500, about 750 of this chromic metal. Because I can always top it back up from the... The, the freighter. And we'll sell the superoxide crystals. To yeah, I mean I've still got nearly a thousand chromic metal. I don't think I actually need to top up actually. To be honest, it's not that I actually use it for that much. Detected pirates using abandoned station as a secret base. Boarding crew entered. It's some money. We got. Discovery data worth units, 206 units, got seven Vikin effigies, got some hot ice, some more superoxide crystals, got more cash, more cash, more cash, and it's going to. Right, so we got 1.9 million for that, and that can go, whoops, that can go to the exosuit. Goes to the exosuit. I think we're going to sell the hot ice as well. We can hang on to that. We've got 450 tons of forget fuel. Maybe uh, just going to make a couple of extra. I like the idea of having at least one mission running now. I mean, it doesn't seem right not to have some with forget mission running, even if it's not particularly that profitable. But in some ways, it's a, a way to make money that doesn't actually involve anything. So I can go. That's a bad price. I'm not going to sell that. Can keep the chromic metal. Sell the superoxide crystals. They're not worth much. Okay. 
and the Bikin effigies who were up to 972 million and that can go to the capacity that really needs to get sent to the what we call it the Colossus um, the geodesite I want to put back in the exosuit so that I can put that into the Colossus when I visit just check everything nice and neat and tidy pure ferrite can go to high capacity we got wow we've got so much chromic metal mm. not even sure why i've got this actually in my i think i'm carrying it more as a emergency backup i'm going to sell another 500 chromic metal just to uh, just to get rid of it not well, not get rid of it. That's probably the sort of. But if we sell about six hundred of it. I think that you can have too much of a good thing sometimes. And I'm losing money on it, guys. But I mean minus thirty, but it's better than just getting rid of it. And right now, just to wind the video up, we're going to send this guy out on a mission. When ideally we could do this could be a good mission. I'm not sure if we're going to have the fuel for it, but we'll give it a go. I send a couple of trade. I always want to send a support ship, at least one uh, combat ship, and uh, there's another trade ship here. think that would be a very profitable mission. And let's have a quick look. What we're going to do, again, while I'm just thinking about it, guys, is I'm just going to come around here. And uh, let's drop these in here. I'll just use them as extra storage for the moment. Ah, well, that's already got. I know that some of you guys will say, well, what? Yeah, why am I doing it? But. Oops. It's just a way of saving a little bit of time. And this one's actually finished, so it's saving walking around the corner. And that can go in there. And that will go in there. And then we'll just leave that stashed in there for the moment. And how, how am I off there? Uh... Yeah, we got loads of dihydrogen now. So if I can get the tritium, we can turn that into frigate fuel. Right, guys, I think this is where I'm going to call it quits. I think I've done enough in this video. We've now completed the milestone and we've done a few other bits and pieces. I think I'm just going to go with the flow from now on. Try and do as many missions as possible to get the standing up with uh, these guys see if we can get as many of these as finished as possible um, so we got good standing with there but I would like to get the standing with the merchants guild and there just finish these off how close we will get because obviously once when beyond comes out the focus will shift on that what I will say is if any of you guys pick up anything on the forums about what's in part three or a potential release date for beyond feel free to chuck it in the video comments when i'm tracking as much as i can but i think there's a limit and one of the problems with hello games and sean Marlott rary he's very erratic and i'd have to confess guys i'm not on twitter so anything that comes out on twitter i miss completely i just hate twitter so that's the reason why i don't even have a twitter account but and to but this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.